In this video, we will discuss genus Trypanosoma. Before going to the actual topic, let us classify the organisms based on the R.H. Whitaker classification. He classified as five kingdoms, Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantia and Animalia. In the kingdom Protista, the subkingdom is Protozoa and which contain the phylum are Sarcomastigophora, Apicomplexa and Ciliophora. Now, let us start with the trypanosoma. The members are called as trypanosomes and they are hemoflagellates. This means they found in the blood, plasma, lymph and other tissue fluids of the mammals and also in birds. And they have a characteristic feature that is their body is leaf-like with single flagellum attaching to the body by an undulating membrane and the disease caused by these trypanosoma organisms are called as trypanosomosis this is the trypanosoma cruzi and these are trypanosoma equiparidum and trypanosoma thyleri and trypanosoma evansi now let us come to the morphology of trypanosomes they are fusiform or spindle shaped they having vesicular nucleus and kinetoplast which is located posterior to nucleus here in this image you can clearly appreciate the spindle shaped structure with the vesicular nucleus and posterior to the nucleus there is kinetoplast flagella arises from the kinetosome they are also called as basal granules or buffalo brast and the flagella attached to the body by undulating membrane which is continuous as free flagellum the moment of this trypanosoma may be active or sluggish the trypanosomes vary in shape they are short and stout stumpy form or long and slender form and sometimes there may be intermediary form can also be seen such trypanosomes with varying shape and size are called as polymorphic trypanosomes and uh, those trypanosomes which are uniform in size are called as monomorphic trypanosomes let us look at this image here you can observe the spindle shaped body with vesicular nucleus at the center and Posterior to the vesicular nucleus, there is kinetoplast and just anterior to the kinetoplast, there is the parabasal body from which the plasella will arise and plasella will attach to the body of the trypanosoma by a membrane called as undulating membrane. Biology of the trypanosomes The multiplication of these trypanosomes are carried out by longitudinal binary fission. and they are transmitted by blood sucking flies and uh, in the flies uh, in which the developmental stage of the trypanosomes will occur in such type of transmission is called as cyclical transmission and uh, the vectors which just carry the organism as itself and uh, in vector there is no any developmental stages of the trypanosome will occur and such type of transmission by the vector is called as non-cyclical transmission or mechanical transmission and the cyclical transmission uh, are, is also categorized as anterior station and posterior station uh, in the cyclical transmission there is the development of the trypanosoma will be there which means uh, the trypanosoma will uh, uh, develop to the infective stages uh, in the vector and uh, that to be classified as anterior station and posterior station if the trypanosoma uh, developed developed in the anterior station of the vector is called as uh, salivarian transmission or a salivarian trypanosoma if uh, the trypanosoma is uh, developed in the posterior station of the vector and uh, such type of trypanosomes trypanosomes are called as stercorian trypanosomes And example for the development of the trypanosome in uh, anterior station is the trypanosoma vivax and uh, example for the posterior station developmental trypanosoma is the trypanosoma crozi. 
now let us come to the developmental stages of the trypanosomes they are classified as four developmental stages the first developmental stage is the mastigote which is round and plasalum is absent and the kinetoplast is present and uh, this type of amastigote stage of the trypanosome is seen in the vertebrates now after the amastigote the next stage of the trypanosomes is promastigote and uh, in which kinetoplast and axonem are, are at the anterior tip of the body which mean if you consider this as the body of the trypanosome the kinetoplast and the, the axonem is at the anterior tip of the body with short plasalum but there is no any undulating membrane will be there and after the promastigate stage of the trypanosome the next stage is epimastigote in which the kinetoplast and axonem is anterior to the nucleus if you consider this as the epimastigote stage and if it is the vesicular nucleus of the epimastigote and the kinetoplast uh, kinetoplast and the exoneme is anterior to the nucleus this is nucleus and this is the kinetoplast and exoneme and it is the flagellum uh, this is the posterior to the nucleus and this is the anterior to the nucleus and in the epimastigote kinetoplast with the exoneme is anterior to the nucleus and there is a short undulating membrane will be there this is the short undulating membrane will be there in the epimastigote and the last stage that is the trypanosomastigote this is also called as trypanosome stage in this form uh, they are uh, seen normally in the blood films of uh, infected vertebrate animals and they are blade like form or leaf like form kinetoplast is posterior to the nucleus and undulating membrane is well developed in the trypanosomastigote stage this is the vesicular nucleus and in this case kinetoplast is present posterior to the nucleus but in the epimastigote kinetoplast is present anterior to the nucleus and from the blepharoplast there is the arise of the flagellum and uh, the undulating membrane will attach to the body this undulating membrane is totally well developed in the trypanosomastigote this is about the developmental stages of the trypanosomes they are classified as a mastigote stage that is first stage and uh, then promastigote and epimastigote and trypanosomastigote mm. i hope uh, as you know uh, mastigote means the flagellum the stage in which the flagella is absent is called as a mastigote and promastigote in which the flagella is developed uh, are little bit short and then epimastigote and trypanosomastigote the point which uh, differentiate between the epimastigote and um, trypanosomastigote is that in epimastigote kinetoplast with the axoneme is present towards the anterior to the nucleus but in case of trypanosomastigote the kinetoplast and the axoneme is present posterior to the nucleus and the undulating membrane is well developed in the trypanosomastigote but it is under developed in epimastigote now let us come to the pathogenesis of trypanosomes there will be anemia that is hemolytic anemia this is because of immunological mechanism which results in the hemolysis and erythrocytosis and with anemia is also associated with the disorders of clotting like thrombocytopenia and the next uh, condition is the hypoglycemia trypanosomes absorb glucose in the blood leading to increased production of lactic acid which results in the decreased amount of uh, glucose to the body that leads to the hypoglycemia and the serum potassium level will be increased it is because of destruction of the blood cells and uh, because of this calcium and phosphorus ratio is disturbed and the uh, destroyed trypanosomes releases endotoxins which results in the toxemia and ultimately leads to death of the host and the clinical signs such as due to anemia the mucous membrane become pale in color 
and metacal hemorrhages and emaciation can be noticed enlarged spleen lymph glands and livers congestion of the mucosa of the intestine stomach and kidney uh, can also be noticed edema of the dependent part is common and uh, keratitis and uh, conjunctivitis nervous symptoms can also be seen and this is about the uh, pathogenesis and uh, uh, clinical signs of the uh, disease caused by the trypanosomes from next video onwards we will uh, look at the individual species of the trypanosoma and the first species that we are going to be discuss is trypanosoma ivansi thank you